Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 30th March 2023, the Ministry of Defense has signed contract for 12 Swati weapon locating radar planes with Bharat Electronics Limited at a cost of Rs 990 crore. In June 2022, the new Indian Express has reported that BEL has received order for procurement of 6 units of Swati weapon locating radar Mark II version worth Rs 400 crores. Indian Army already operates 30 units of Swati WLR Mark I version which has performed exceedingly well at LOC. These recent orders will take the total number of Swati WLR to 48 which is going to massively boost the counter artillery firepower capability of Indian Army. On 5th August 2023, Indian Army inducted the lighter and compact version of Swati weapon locating radar which is also called as Mountains version. The Swati Mark 1 which is also called the plane version is heavier version mounted on a 8x8 Tatra truck. However, Swati Mark 2 which is also called Mountain version is mounted on a BML 6x6 truck which improves the mobility of the radar on mountainous terrain where roads are narrow and mobility is a big challenge. Swati, which is a shining example of DRDO's research and development, was a result of Western embargo. In 1989, the American AN-TPQ-36 and AN-TPQ-37 firefinder radars were denied to Indian Army leading to development of a homegrown product which is now also being exported. The Swati radar is similar to AN-TPQ-37 radar in design and performance but is reportedly more user-friendly. It features a passive electronically scanned array radar derived from Rajendra radar which is also the fire control radar for Akash missile system. This radar is electronically steered meaning the radar antenna does not move while in operation. It can electronically scan in plus minus 45 degrees of azimuth for incoming rockets, artillery, and motor fire. The radar antenna is slewable up to plus or minus 135 degree within 30 seconds, which gives this radar the ability to quickly change its scanning sector and provide 360 degree scan capability. Talking about the working of Swati, it is designed to detect and track incoming artillery rounds, motors, and rockets and locate their launchers. In its secondary role, it can also track and observe the fall shot from friendly guns and provide fire correction to counter battery fire. It can detect the origin of fire of artillery shells, mortars and rockets based on their projectile motion and trajectory. With the help of its C-band phased array radar, it is able to change the direction of its radar wave just by shifting the phase of its signal electronically without physically moving the antenna. This enables Swati radar to cover much wider area. Swati has an instrumented range of 50 km with probability of detection as 90%. It can operate from minus 30 to plus 55 degrees Celsius temperature. It can also operate from an altitude of 16,000 feet and can be deployed within 30 minutes for action. For a 81 mm or larger motor, its detection range is 4 to 20 km. For a 105 mm or larger gun, its detection range is 4 to 30 km. For free light rockets, its detection range is 6 to 40 km. And for 155 mm rockets or guns, its range is 30 km. It can track up to 7 targets simultaneously from different locations. The target information of up to 99 targets is presented as a high resolution multi mode color display on a ruggedized power PC in real time and can be overlaid on a digital map. The weapon locating radar can store a very large 108 km by 108 km digital map for display purpose. Swati is also networked with artillery units using Shakti Artillery Combat Command and Control System, which in turn automate and facilitates decision support for all operational aspects of artillery functions from core down to the 
artillery battery level in a networked centric environment this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector